Reddit user Boghead XCX, interesting name, um, has requested uh, or has a challenge that he's facing is that when leads are submitted into the system, if possible, he wants to match that to existing customers. And that's the overall problem. And you can see some solutions have come out here using a trigger or a process builder. Um, next is using rollup helper and matching the domains so that, that's on the right path and i think that's the way that we're going to try to solve this problem for him so um to break this down even further we technically don't care about the web to lead part of this problem we care more about when a lead is in the system you know this is my thinking behind it when the lead is in the system we need to somehow match based on the fields that we have on the lead, uh, match it to uh, existing accounts. So what we're going to do is basically what was outlined here, but without the role of helper part and doing the process builder and flow version is just matching the email addresses. Um, so using the domain that's on the account that we specify, or we can technically transfer that over on lead creation, that'll get even further down into it. Um, we'll specify based on the email address and the domain and what comes in uh, from the user itself. So let's jump into it. We're going to need a couple things. So first off on the account, we're going to need a field called email domain. I think I moved it somewhere around here, ABCDE email domain, and that's just a text field. On the lead, we're gonna need a couple things here. we are going to need a formula field called email domain, that formula field. Um, something that, that's pretty easy to look up, it substitutes or it gets the last couple characters of the um, email that's submitted on the lead that comes in. So if we're looking at this, I'll go to uh, my sections here and we can see I've hard coded or put in a text for the email domain. So that's number one. And then next on the leads, let's just do this guy. We can see that when I'm in the demo, there's the email domain and it's spitting out uh, Jackson. So I'm going to leave this to Jackson right now. Um, and then once we change it, we'll see that it's going to look good. Also, we'll need a lookup to the accounts. So like this is the overall thing that we're trying to do, but it, a lookup on the account from lead is not standard. So next, we're going to need a flow. So I'm going back into the setup. And starting to create my flow. As this all loads, you will hear my cat in the background, Mr. Casanova, making a ton of noise, but I'm gonna record this in a couple takes, so or in one take, so don't have all day to get this done. Uh, in the new flow builder, if you guys have not seen it, it's pretty cool and snazzy. I'm gonna be doing a full in-depth walkthrough in my normal channel. Um, so Let's uh, create a new resource, something that we're going to need to hold the values that is coming in or, or the lead that is coming in. So uh, let's call this var lead ID. And we're going to allow for input. So what we're going to do and what was suggested in the beginning is you're going to take it from a process builder and pass it into a flow. So this is going to definitely help out with that aspect. Casanova, why are you on the table right now? So we're going to continue through here. We've created that. Now that we actually have our lead ID, we're going to go ahead and get that lead. So get lead. Let's just stick with that. Let's see if we can actually separate that. And we are going to do a search for our lead object. We do not want all of them. We want it based on a condition. And the condition is that the ID of the lead needs to equal the variable lead ID. So the lead that we're passing in, it's going to start from the process builder, but the lead ID that we give it, um, we want to get that specific lead that we get from it. And we can, we're fine with only selecting the first one and uh, together records where to store the variables and separate variables or not. Um, this is fine to just be on one record variable. And on here, we're actually going to need to create another variable, call it lead 
to var lead because we want to make it consistent. This is going to be a record delete object. And we're not going to allow for input. And then we need to come back down and make sure we do the selection. And then fields we are selecting, this is important because we want the email domain field. I'm going to click done. So let's drag this over. The next thing we are going to do is a search for the account that we're looking for. So it's it's once again when we're doing searching, we're going to uh, do a get record. So we'll do get account, and for the object, we'll do account. Conditions. This is uh, the next important piece. So we the accounts that we're looking for, we want to make sure that the email domain that we're looking for is equal to the variable or the lead that we've gotten. So the variable lead and the email domain that comes out of it. So we've captured, we've made sure to request to capture this value. So it's not going to be null when we look for it. And we're looking for, we're, we're matching the account's email domain to the lead's email domain that we pass in. So same thing, we only want the first record and um, we're going to make sure that this is going to be uh, set in an account. Sorry, uh, an account variable. So let's create one more variable. Our account record count type done. Do the selection. Now what we're capturing here, the most important thing that we need is the the account ID because that's what we're then going to map back to the um, to the lead itself. So let's connect this part together. And then lastly, what we're going to need to do is to update a record. So update lead. This is the original lead that we're getting in. So we're going to use the lead ID specified. And this is going to be bar lead. Did a new record specify. Oh, we can do an assignment from here. So what this is asking now, this is a little bit different from the, the regular full builder. This is just asking, um, you know, this is where we can actually do like a search for it. So we can do it this way. It's technically another search. Um, and in my uh, more in-depth classes, we'll go through like the differences between these. So I'll actually try to do it this way, see if it's a little bit faster than doing an assignment. So we're matching the lead ID from the variable lead that we got in the beginning. And the field that we are looking to update is the account and the variable that we're going to put it in and the variable that we are going to set the lead record into or where we're getting it from sorry forgot to finish this here so it's dot id um, so we're taking from the variable account that we have found and setting the id into the lead i've got to set up my lines properly next we need to save everything so we've uh, got it started here this pv find count from lead domain let's start with that and then for the type we're going to use a auto launching flow more advanced stuff and one on why it's that specifically and then for the debugging of this process let's actually take an ID copy that and um, go to the debugger so in the debugger, it should ask for our variable lead ID. So we're going to input a lead ID and run this. And it's going to tell us what's going on here. So in the first, the interview, it's saying that we got the variable lead ID. We did a fast lookup to get that lead and the lead domain. And then another fast lookup to find any accounts based on that uh, lead, the email domain. And then do an assignment 
or if that was found, we're going to update the lead record. So as of right now, nothing was found. So the record had failed at the result here. And we can do a bit of error catching for that. But the reason it wasn't found was because of this email here. Uh, it does not match any of the domains that are put in under the account. So, oh, looks like the record was modified. Let's do that again. All right, so we'll save that. We can see that our domain changed, and let's try to rerun this again. Oops, sorry, change inputs, and I'll rerun the entire thing. So, go. We can see here. Oh, so the domain was still not found, and that is because in this org, I have the at symbol. All right, let's uh, make sure to run it so we can see the whole thing. And this is what we're looking for here at the end here. Successfully found record in the fast lookup. And then from there, it's going to set the values here at the bottom here. So. If we look back at our lead, we can see that it was set to Blue Entertainment Corp. So to tie this entire thing together, that was just a debugging of it. So let's go back and activate our flow. Let's activate this. Then we're going to create a process builder. Oh, I have a lead main trigger, so that's good. And this is on rating chain, so I'm going to clone this process builder. Yes, Casanova, can I help you? And email change. I'm going to do email. Sorry if you can hear Casanova purring. I think it's kind of cute actually. So if the email is changed, we are going to then do an action which is calling a flow. Find count email domain and here we go. Oops, sorry, that was here. We need to pass in the variable of our ID. So we are passing in the ID of our lead. It's probably record ID, master record ID, lead ID. There we go. Save this, activate it, firm. And then let's start to test this. So well, I'll actually create two accounts here. Let's go to this one and the domain. Let's do this fun.com or you know, shameful plug salesforcementor.com. Um, and then let's go back to our lead record, Jeff. Edit this. So we're making a change on this. SalesforceMentor.com. Now we're changing, and we see that hey, this automatically popped and changed. So the overall problem was um, addressed in doing it this way. So you know, there's definitely ways of improving this, especially on this email change. You can put it on whatever. You can put it on is new. You know, it can be whatever you want. So um, I hope this uh, helped solve your problem. You can, um, there's a little bit more detail that can go into making this a lot better, but at least for the initial piece of what you're looking for, this should, um, you know, get you started just, uh, just to show loading, just to show that, you know, this is going off anytime this has changed. Hey, look, this has changed to, you know, blue entertainment corp. So, um, I hope this helped you out. Um, boghead forgot your name I'm sorry I hope this helped you out and um, you know be sure to comment subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and then send out any requests any more requests that you have and if it's something you know that's not really looked into a little bit too much or needs a little bit of explanation I'll be here to help you out